Samuel Lake III made his first court appearance Thursday, February 14th, after DNA advances tied him to a 1997 rape case involving a 17-year-old in Medina County. He's also facing new indictments for murder involving the 1992 death of a woman in Austintown. Legg's arraignment was attended by Nikki Myers, who said she believes Legg may be the person responsible for the death of her best friend, Angela Hicks, who was killed in Elyria in 1990. Angela was a 14-year-old Westwood Middle School cheerleader who disappeared, and her body was later found in a wooded area off West River Road in Elyria. Police questioned Legg, who was Hicks' stepfather at the time of her disappearance. The case was never solved, but Elyria police say they are looking into the case again. Well, let's just start with the past couple days, um, how you found out, um, how this came to your attention and all of this, and what this the past few days have been like for you. Um, the past few days, since, since I found out, I actually found out from my mom from Florida. One of her friends called, I wasn't watching the news, one of her friends called her and told her um, that, uh, that she thinks that it's the same guy because I have a Facebook page set up for Angie and she was pretty sure that it was the same guy and my mom called me and she was like, honey, they got him, they got him. And I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? She's like, they got same. I'm like, I don't know where, for what, you know, for what? And she was just crying. They got him, honey. He's going to go away, you know? And I mean, I just started crying and screaming and my, my hu husband and of course my son, like, He's 20, but, you know, he's always, my kids have always known about Angie. She's been like the aunt that they've never seen because they've seen pictures of her and they know. She's like their guardian angel. I always tell them she's, you, she's watching out over you guys. And so they, they've always known about her. And uh, I couldn't like really talk to explain it. And my, my son is like, don't do that to me. I thought it was somebody, like something, you know what I mean, happened to somebody. And I'm just like, I was like, I couldn't talk, like... And she had just, you know, told me, so I, uh, I mean, I was just like in, in shock, but I couldn't understand everything she said, so she told me it was, she said on, I, I believe, channel, channel 8 or channel 5, I don't, I don't remember which one. So I just kind of went in there and was trying to pull it up, and I seen a message pop up, and the next thing I know, I got a knock on the door, it's a reporter, and I, it's everything's just, was kind of all at once. I was just trying to wrap my mind around what, what was going on. Obviously, it wasn't exactly the news you had wanted because it, but it was obviously it was the, the rape in Medina that he was arrested for. Did, I mean, what, what was going through your mind then with thinking about Angie? And you know, that? I guess I had always kind of given him the benefit of the doubt that maybe um, her homicide, her murder was an accident. Maybe I did it a little bit for myself to think maybe she didn't suffer. You know, that, that was kind of like, I guess, how I dealt with it for the time, you know. So, um, I, and then, you know, hearing the new, the new charges, charges, alleged charges, um, I, was, uh, I was just taken back, you know. What is it that you hope ends up happening with all of this well I mean I hope that her mom gets some closure too because it was her only child you know they were best friends they were always together it was only her and her mom until she she met Sam and they got married pretty quick and you know there was this guy and it had been her and her mom for 14 years so they were pretty close they were good friends you know so she deserves to know what happened, you know what I mean? And I know she's always had her doubts about him and her suspicions that it was him. You know, we all did, but proving it, you know, is another thing, unfortunately. You, you said that you were going through kind of a roller coaster. And, a, yeah. and over, can you describe the, those feelings that you, you've had the past few days? I mean, um, I'm really sad, but I'm happy at the same time. I just think it's like, it's just the worst messed up feeling to be so sad that, you know what I mean? But just the fact that her name is back out there again in her face, if nothing else, because, because of him, you know what I mean? If, even if he was not to be charged with her, 
you know, it was, it was good today to see his ass in handcuffs and a jumpsuit. And even if he, you know, didn't do whatever time, just that, knowing that, you know what, you're where you should be. You're, you're exactly where you deserve to be. So, so that, that was good. That was, that was good. You were in the courtroom then this morning? Yes. Did you say anything to him? Um, I didn't say anything. Um, I was there when they were bringing him in. I was pretty close to him. I was on the bench. The pews were pretty close to the aisleway. And he looked at me, and I looked at him. He knew who I was, and he just looked, looked at the ground. I didn't say anything to him because, you know, I was kind of shaky a little bit, but I didn't want to do anything to get thrown out of there because that's not going to help her cause or anybody else's. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything. So, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't like to choke, choke the crap out of him or, you know what I mean? Like all the things you think about when somebody's hurt somebody you love, but it was, it was hard. It was hard not to say anything and not to, all that built up, you know, but I, I did it. I'd like to talk about Angie. Um, sure. I, what was she like? I mean, it was, you guys, from what I've read, you guys were soulmates <laughs> is one of the terms yeah. I, I heard. We, we, were, we were just friends. We, we, she loved the crack jokes. She is a goofball. Um, she liked to watch movies. Uh, like one of her favorite movies was like Dirty Dancing. I think that uh, that at the time was like the big, the big movie. And uh, she liked, I mean, watch movies. We just hung out and talked a lot. You know, we played Barbies, of course, when we were younger. That was what we did. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, so we did do hair and makeup and just what teenage girls do. You know, talk about boys, tell secrets. You know. That type of stuff. So when she disappeared, mm -hmm. you, you, because they, they said that they thought she was a runaway. Um, right. But, but it sounded like you you never believed. I that. knew she I knew she didn't run away. What, why is that? Well, I knew she didn't run away because I mean we had always you know, yeah, teenagers talk and stuff you know kids, I mean she was like my sister and we always. If I ever run away, you better come get me, or you know, vice versa. Like we had a little pack, like you know what I mean. That that either, either of us ever intended to run away, but like we wouldn't leave the other behind because we we're you know, we just want to do that. So, so I knew she didn't run away. I knew she didn't. If she did, she would have came to me. She would she would have come to my house. Some way she would have got a hold of me. Did you feel? I mean, you you knew him. Did you? feel anything weird about um, it? I mean, the only thing I can say about it is, you know, he was kind of quiet. He was odd, um, odd in the way. Looking back as an adult now, as a 14-year-old, he just seemed like quiet. But, I mean, as an adult now, looking back on it, it, he was 21 years old. You know, at the time, he didn't smoke, he didn't drink, he didn't have any vices. He wasn't your average 21-year-old. Plus, he was quiet, too, on top of it. So maybe looking back on it now, yeah, uh, you know, he, he was a little different, you know what I mean? But everybody has their own, you know, who's to say what's different, you know, in that aspect. So, yeah. Did you, did you think that the day would come that, that there'd be justice on this? Or how have you felt over the years? Did you, did you kind of lose hope along the way? That um, I've, I've always had hope. I've never stopped trying. Um, I always try to do something to, you know, keep it out there and to put it out there to keep her face out there. And, you know, there's a lot of people that don't know about her because it happened in 1990. And the people who know about her or people who's read about it or say, oh, yeah, I think I remember something about it. But um, I, uh, for a long time, I, I really thought there's got to be more, you know, there's got to be more DNA evidence. There's There's got to be, you know, there's something there, you know. Um, that one day, if nothing else, he's gonna talk. He's he's gonna talk to somebody. You know what I mean? It's there. There's gotta be some way it's gonna catch up with him. So after you know all of this time, everybody talked about closure. I mean, this isn't something that you know. Even if he's charged and convicted and put away, what is that 
you know, what is that for you? Is what, what kind of closure do you get? How do you think you'll come out of this? You know, I can't really say. I mean, I guess uh, not being able to see Angie at her funeral was hard on me as a, as a teenager because I knew she was gone. They said she was gone. They said it was her by her dental records. And in my mind, I knew she was, but I always had that. Well, what if it really wasn't her? That hope. You know, it, it's hard to let go of that hope, you know, even though you know that, that it was to get past that part of that. And I didn't get that closure with seeing her. You know what I mean? So this now is going to just be like, I don't know. I, I hope I'm able to just suck it all in when it's over and done with and say, you know what? You can just let her go, you know, let her rest. She's, she's good now. She's good. She's at peace and, you know. But, I, you know, there's still going to be, a, like I said, um, there's always going to be that. Anytime there's milestones in my life, in my kids' life, in my grandchildren's life, I think about her. I think about, you know, my wedding. Um... I had my daughter, who has her middle name. All those things about our kids being able to play together. You know, just all those things that I missed and she missed. She missed going to high school. She missed her prom. I mean, just so many things. So, yeah, it will be nice to have closure, but... um. Those things, you know, he took from her mom and he took from everybody who cared about her. So, those things are still going to come up, you know, the older that I get and all that. But, it'll be easier knowing that she's at peace, you know. So, 